Hi YouTube, this is BD594 and today I'm going to show you a small main console utilizing full size arcade controls and a Raspberry Pi Zero. You may have seen other builds where the Pi Zero has been crammed into a Game Boy. However, I wanted to build one with more accessible materials such as wood. On the bottom I'm using a small piece of one quarter inch thick pegboard which protects the circuitry and provides some ventilation. I also drilled a one inch hole um, so I can access the shutdown button here. Okay, we're looking at the bottom here still. Um, as you can see I got six buttons plus a joystick and uh, the shutdown button here. Uh, I would have used this uh, breakout board um, which allows you to solder the wires directly onto the uh, connector. Uh, but I didn't have enough room between the uh, buttons and the joystick here. So what I ended up doing is soldering everything to a ribbon cable with a 40-pin uh, connector. And this just plugs directly onto the GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi, like so. Now you can see um, I uh, mounted the uh, bottom panel and in the interest of saving time I drilled a small access hole in the back for the uh, uh, USB power and the uh, HDMI cable. Now what makes this main unique and the reason why I wanted to share it with you is the uh, you might notice the uh, logo in the front, the main logo and the, uh, let me see if I can get in the light there uh, the Donkey Kong figure. Uh, these were images I uh, downloaded from the internet and I used a uh, CNC laser engraver to uh, create these images. Alright, this is uh, just a quick look at the uh, CNC DIY laser engraver I used. Um, I bought it off eBay for next to nothing plus free shipping. two watt version uh, so it's just basically X and Y and some sort of uh, Arduino Nano knockoff two stepper motor drivers uh, the only thing I don't like about this it doesn't have a, a kill switch so I'm gonna put one in uh, the first time I plugged it in the laser started burning a hole in the bench so you just have to be careful with these uh, things they're not well they're not designed for safety but uh, other than that, uh, it's a, it's not a bad machine. Okay, as you can see now, I'm uh, burning in the uh, main logo. As you can see, the contrast between the laser etching and the woods, quite pronounced. Um, that's why if you ever decide to build your own and use a laser engraving, you may just want to varnish, varnish the wood and just leave it uh, unfinished. Right now you're looking at the laser engraving for the uh, Donkey Kong character and the damsel in distress Pauline. Um, I, I made a mistake here. I should have moved the image a little more to the right. Now let's just uh, plug this in and give it a quick test. Again I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero with a 4 gig micro SD flash and I'm using Adafruit uh, Retro Arcade game plus the MAME emulator and for the shutdown I'm just using a simple Python script um, so let's just do that and credit player one and again I uh, make these things I don't play them very but let's just okay. that's... and that's the uh, um, part of the retro game it's called the Vulcan grip uh, that's how it allows you to exit out of a game again I configured it for the credit and player one start if I hit it again it should exit out and as you guys all know these uh, guys should be gracefully shut down so that's why I put the button here and there we go shut down and we're all set 
And before I go, I'd like to show you uh, uh, my next main project that's almost near completion. It's uh, one that's made out of plexiglass. And in this unit, I'm uh, actually using a Raspberry Pi 3. And as you can see, it's just a little bit more elaborate than the other one.